everyone. Okay, so I'm here today with Susan Beeb, and Susan has been actually an online client who lives, um, how far away? You live about, about an hour. hour. She lives about an hour away, so we've been working mostly online for quite a while now, and she is actually getting ready to do her very first figure competition. So Susan had actually come to me, what, back in? The end of April. The end of April, and wanting to set a new goal for herself, and wanting to actually, um, you know, were you thinking figure competition? You were thinking figure competition initially. Mm -hmm. yep. What was what was what was the deal with you? Where were you at when you first got a hold of me? Uh, when I first called Diana, I had just finished running a half marathon and um, hated running long distance, <laughs> but had finished that goal and needed a new goal. I'm kind of like goal oriented, and I had seen her ad on Facebook and just kind of caught my eye and then about oh, a few weeks later saw on the front of Kansas City Fitness Magazine and I told my dad, oh, that's the girl that was on Facebook. <laughs> it's a sign. It's a sign. <laughs> and um, so I started kind of looking into this whole figure competition thing. I had really never heard of it yeah. before and thought, I think I'll do that. Nice. And so I emailed her and got started. Awesome. Now give us a little background. You're, you're a mom. Yep. I have three kids. Almost 14, 11, and almost 4. Um, so I stayed home with them for 14 years, but after we started this whole crazy training thing, about a month in, I went back to work full time. So that added to the whole stress. <laughs> so full time, <laughs> full time work, and mother of three, and now I'm going to do a figure competition. Yeah. But um, no, so initially, what our first goal was was because um, you weren't you were you were never like overweight or anything like that. You were you were actually very lean when you first came in, but um, you didn't have a whole lot of muscle on you at that point in time. So our first goal was just to take the first couple of months and and try to build a little bit of muscle on you. Um, and we're shooting for a show in September, so we 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 just did. We got to eat a lot of food. Uh, <laughs> trained with some heavy weights for, for a few months and you actually did really well and your body responded well. We were able to put some muscle on you before we started the leaning down phase and and so now here we are two two weeks away. How was the how's the whole process kind of been for you? Just in Oh, I think it's been great. I've had a lot of fun doing it even though it's been incredibly hard work here in the end. Yeah. But um it's been actually kind of fascinating to me how it all works and the nutrition aspect of it. I think yeah. it's completely fascinating. And um, well, in the midst of all this, my son's appendix burst and we didn't know it. And he ended up in the hospital and almost died. And he was there for almost two weeks. And yeah. we saw this how the stress affected my body fat. Yep. I mean, in that two weeks' time, I lost weight and put on body fat. So it was, yeah. I mean, really interesting to me to see that uh, just how that affects your body and very true how the nutrition affects your body and um, but it's been fun and I now that I'm there was like a point at about a month out that I was just like oh my gosh what did I get myself <laughs> what did I get? into but now that I can see the end and when the fat starts dropping off in the end you're like yeah yeah you got some crazy abs yeah. on you too <laughs> we did, now you gotta tell them what you were just telling me before the, the camera was Oh, well, um, <laughs> I teach at church, and it was my daughter's eighth grade class, and I taught last Sunday, and Tessa came home from school, I think it was probably Tuesday or something, and one of the girls in the class is in her seminar classes at school, and she said, I was trying to watch your mom teach at church the other night, and I just couldn't because I kept looking at those big arm muscles. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, your arms, like like you were able to put, even though we just had a short period of time to work with to try to get a little more muscle on you, um, you know, you did really well. Now, going forward, so we're going to do this one. It'll be your first experience with it. And what are you thinking for the future? I'm totally addicted. <laughs> oh, she's already addicted. She hasn't even been on stage yet. You'll be more addicted even after you get on stage, I think. So then we'll probably go into it. You'll go into a phase of, of, of building some more again and, and uh Hopefully, just keep pushing forward. I think it's amazing. I love, I love hearing stories like you know people just like, hey, I want to do this, and you just go, you find out what you got to do, and, and you just do it. And you've been like spot on. Like, it's like do this, and you're like, okay. <laughs> but, but you, you, you look incredible. I'm excited for you. So. Well, you've been so awesome, and you've been like my biggest cheerleader when I'm like going, oh, this sucks. This sucks. 
<laughs> um, yeah, you did been really great, and, and I mean, you, you, every time you change it to exactly what I need and exactly that's been good for me, and I just really appreciate that it's been. A, I love the natural part of it, and yeah, that I'm taking care of my body while I'm doing it. Yeah, it's very important. Very, very important. Well, awesome. I can't wait to see the pictures from the show and, and get a, a, the, you know, the report. She's competing on the same day as I am, so I won't be there at her I show. Do it alone. You gotta do it alone. You can text me, though. I'm, <laughs> like, I'm, in, the same, I'm in the same condition as you are right now. Um, but, no, like, I, I'm, I'm psyched for you. Very proud of you. And, and let's, like, rock it out. <laughs>
Well, in the midst of all this, my son's appendix burst, and we didn't know it, and he ended up in the hospital and almost died, and he was there for almost two weeks, and we saw this, how the stress affected my body fat. Yep. I mean, in that two weeks' time, I lost weight and put on body fat, so it was yeah. I mean, really interesting to me to see that, uh, just how that affects your body, and very true. how the nutrition affects your body, and, um, but it's been fun, and I, now that I'm, there was like a point at about a month out that I was just like, oh my gosh, what did I get?